September 18, 1953, Syracuse, New York. Kid Gavilan, the Cuban Hawk, defending the world's welterweight title against Carmen Basilio, the challenger from nearby Canastota, New York, in a scheduled 15-round bout. Basilio weighs 147 pounds to Gavlin's 146 and three quarters. The champion is a four to one favorite. Referee, George Walsh. Round one. They begin slowly, fencing with their left. Gavlin in white trunks is a stylist, whereas Basilio believes in power instead of flash. Basilio has had 50 fights, winning 36, losing 10, with four draws. 17 have been by knockout. Gavilan has KO'd 27 opponents. In 111 bouts, Gavilan has won 94, lost 14, and had four draws. Here's Gavilan about to miss a sweeping left hook. The kid trying to solve Basilio's defense, looking for an opening. So far, Basilio hasn't opened up. Now you'll see Gavilan land a right, followed by a left to the body. And here's another combination. Basilio is shaken as he ties up the champion. Watch the referee warn Gavilan to break cleanly. Coming up, two rights by the kid. That action initiated by Gavilan is typical of the last minute flurries he employs just before the bell. It caught the attention of the officials, so they gave round one to Gavilan. <laughs> round two. Let's watch for the knockdown. Gavilan flicks in his left. Basilio, moving away from it, looks for an opening. The challenger is an effective hitter with either hand. Gavilan forces his man back. Basilio bobs and weaves to escape Gavlin's left. The counter left by Basilio staggers the champion. closely as two left hooks in rapid succession by Basilio send Gavlin sprawling to the canvas. And for the second time in 111 bouts, the champion is down. Gavlin takes a nine count from referee Walsh. 7,000 fans are on their feet, electrified with excitement. Remember, this is Basilio's home territory. And from all over this War Memorial Stadium come cries for a quick knockout. Basilio a little wild as he attempts to press his advantage. That was the first time Gavlin had been knocked down since Ike Williams did it back in 1948. The champion pulling out of it very nicely, though. and ties up Basilio. He's remarkably cool and calculating after that knockdown. Gavilan is known to have one of the stoutest chins in the ring. No China in his mandible. For a total of 25 rounds, he took the best shots thrown by Sugar Ray Robinson without once hitting the deck. The kid's punches seem to lack steam here, though but they've been connecting with the challenger's head. Carmen's nose is bleeding. Basilio exerting a great deal of pressure. Watch him connect with a good left of the body. 
He's effective with both hands, but that left is easily his most damaging weapon. In the final seconds of round two, we find Carmen Basilio, a very competent challenger. And now we go into round 10. Basilio built up a decisive early lead, but the champion began his rally in the ninth round. Gavlin using fewer bolo punches now after finding them ineffective. But to prove that he hasn't deserted them completely, he's going to try two more, doubling up with his right hand. Watch. There they are. Gavlin misses a right as Basilio blocks a left by falling in. Gavlin working cautiously, and yet doing more gambling now because he knows he's behind. Carmen Basilio is proving a strong, rugged challenger. A left, half hook, half bolo, blocked by Basilio, as he again falls inside. Working on the head in the clinch, and Basilio's nose once again is starting to bleed. Going into the final round, it's been a close fight. That night at ringside, I had it scored six rounds for Gavlin, six for Basilio, and two even. Can the champion pull this one out? This round should tell the story. Throughout this welterweight title match, both men have relied heavily on their left hands. You can see Gavlin landing those lefts as he snaps Basilio's head back. The challenger's left eye is red and swollen. Carmen's tired. Basilio started fast to this fight. Now he's a tired but game young challenger in this crucial 15th round. And he's bothered by that badly puffed left eye. Basilio trying one last flurry, missing, and forced into a corner in the final seconds of the round. And there's the bell. You can see Basilio's eye is nearly closed. The gloves are cut from Gavlin's hands. Basilio's overjoyed. He thinks he won. So does Judge Jack Kimball, a local official who voted for the challenger. Seven rounds to five with three even. Judge Harold Barnes scored at seven, six, two for Gavlin. Referee George Walsh, eight, six, one in Gavlin's favor. So the winner, welterweight champion of the world, is Kid Gavilan.